Hello everybody, welcome to the third installment of the Onshape basic training series where today we are going to draw up a pot just something simple that you might put your plants in um, yeah quite a straightforward pot so as always create a document we're going to call this one pot I hope you're well having a good day it's been hot where I am so it's been quite nice all right instead of drawing on the front plane sorry instead of drawing on the top plane we're going to draw on the front plane so I'm going to click front go to sketch click the front plane press P leave the origin there to start drawing our pot we'll actually just draw a section of the pot like a profile and then we'll revolve it all the way around it'll make a little bit more sense um, when you see it happening so we're going to draw our line we're going to go to 30 we're going to draw our line sort of up this way we're going to go 80 and then we're going to draw a line straight across and we're going to go 10 fantastic um, now we are going to use the offset command and we're going to offset these lines here and we probably don't want something as thick as that so I've just pressed enter there and now I'm just going to hit 3 to bring it all in a bit closer that's probably enough I think all right, the next step is to grab a line, draw a line, draw a line. Fantastic. Now, you might notice some of these lines are blue, which means they're not fully constrained. Um, what we might do is grab a dimension and make a dimension here. So 115, it's not actually looking too bad. I might bring it in a little bit. And that's fantastic. 110. That will do. Press escape. Um, so I wonder if I can go this one and that one. And just hit the perpendicular just to constrain it. And same thing here. Fantastic. I'm not an I'm not an expert, obviously you've picked that up so far, but I think it's a good idea to have things constrained um, wherever you can all right so everything's black it's constrained I'll finish the sketch now we're going to use the revolve feature so we're going to add new it says faces and sketch regions to revolve do that one and this one says revolve axis the axis we want to revolve around is this one here so we're just going to click this orange line and there's our pot so you don't there's a few options here with revolve um, you can set exactly how far so you can do half if you want so let me just isometric so you can see a bit better there's half um, you can go symmetric so we can go, you know, you want to go a bit further, 270. Um, or two directions, so you can have one going one way, one going the other way. Um, but for this, obviously, we're making a pot, so we just want to go full. New, solid, yep, thank you very much. The sketch automatically goes away, and now we've got our pot. So what we're going to do here is... Um, soften some of these edges particularly that just the top one I think will do just maybe the inside and the outside so we're going to grab a where are you a fillet this is relatively straightforward you just sort of have to click what you want so that one and that one five mil is a bit too much we're just going to do two just the old-fashioned pencil round and we'll leave that as our pot if you want to um, you can stop that fillet 
you could add another fillet maybe for underneath so this one here but just make that real small just make that a one oops accidentally clicked remember that all your stuff that you click ends up here so I don't know how that would work but if you don't want it you can just make sure you unclick it here and that's that well, the last thing we want to do with pots they typically have um, uh, holes in the bottom just so the water can get out so the plant doesn't sit in old water um, so we're going to do that here we're going to draw a sketch on this bottom plane and we're going to use a line but we're going to use a construction line and we're going to draw straight up and escape now we're going to draw a circle just make sure construction isn't checked and somewhere about the middle we're going to make um, a circle remember to check um, center point circle click there and it's asking me what size I'm going to say four sketch two not completed just yet we're going to come up here and instead of linear pattern we're going to choose circular pattern and we're going to click our circle um, you can see the mouse has got a mouse on it and it says if you just click in the middle of nowhere it'll accept it and it'll actually do the drawing so it's just kind of like a draft drawing at the moment we're going to click three we're going to go five and you can see that it's automatically like even the spaces out um, if you don't want that you can bring this back but I do want it and if you really want you can actually set it here so you could set it to 180 if you wanted to but um, I want to go the whole way so I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to hit enter oh sorry I'm going to click there and you can see that the sketch is done um, the one two three four five that'll do and now all we need to do is oh, you can see that it's blue um, what we can do is grab a dimension to the center of the circle and we can just call it 18 even oh, that's interesting it's taking a different line undo oh okay because I haven't set because I haven't set the it thinks this bit is constrained but not this bit um, so I might have to just undo so undo let's try and dimension this now while the black line thinks it's constrained we'll set it to 18 and then we're going to come down here and go circular pattern this one we want five and enter oh sorry click all right so you can see that this is stay these ones aren't um, constrained but we're just going to leave it for now because they're exactly where I want them I'm not really that fast exactly how far out they are as long as it's even all right the next thing is basically we're just going to extrude some holes there is a command in on shape just for holes um, but when you do this you usually set the size of the hole here so you just want points and we could have done that um, and we might use holes in a different video but just for now we're just going to extrude use what we know one two three four five we're just going to go up to face remember it's not really good practice just to um, boolean result I'm not sure what this is saying where's this sketch all right so let's try this again extrude this sketch we're going to go remove I 
think that might have been my problem last time. Up to face, up to this face, there's our holes, um, and that's it. So we've got some holes in a pot, um, and we're done. So make sure you share this with me, share, um, can view, put my name in here, and you're done. Alright, fantastic. See you on the next one.